from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago, and I must say that is good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO or organic super male vitality formula super male vitality by infowars life is so powerful that i only take half the recommended dose i jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day i look forward to waking up and taking my super male vitality and get the day started it's not just the super male vitality all the products at infowarslife.com are simply amazing visit infowarslife.com today to secure your super male vitality and other powerful products from infowars life a chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. We are on the march. The Empire is on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. We're going to play in the next hour the emergency manager of McAllen, Texas, saying that over 90% of the illegals that come in are on buses, families, kids, babies, you name it, the Border Patrol, who's said that they're filling the formula and heating the formula and changing diapers as their new jobs. The head of the Border Patrol Union said that a week and a half ago. So we're not demonizing the Border Patrol individually, but it doesn't matter because they're following orders. So we don't individually, we're not mad at them. We know they're being destroyed. A lot of them are quitting. We um, broke that news story with an ICE agent that, that uh, talked to us, and that became a national news story last week with our reporters down on the border. And just every day, new stuff breaks. But uh, he said, no, about 90-plus percent, we're going to play the audio and the video, if you're a TV viewer, uh, have been given vouchers to go wherever they want in the country. They're illegals. They just bust them, quote, to their families that live in the, quote, interior. And again, that's completely illegal, and they're just doing it and telling Breitbart and InfoWars, hey, you can't be here. And you're, you're standing there in McAllen or in Brownsville on the side of the street where the big bridge is. And there's people wandering around with bags and you know, selling oranges 100 yards away. They come over and see that you're an American press with a flag on your microphone, and they say, get out of here. And they, and they know that they're breaking the law. They don't want it documented. It's just like when a cop is doing something wrong, he doesn't want you to take his picture and get in your face. That's what's happening everywhere. They don't want anybody to see what they're doing, even though they're doing it in broad daylight and taking down the, the facade. Well, the press has to stand up against this, not just the dying dinosaur press, but the general public has to realize that get a camera, get a microphone, you can get it for like 300 bucks, Go down to the border or whatever your issue is, cover it, put it on YouTube, it will become news. Mm -hmm. And more and more people are doing that and uh, totally destroying the dinosaur press that won't do their job. We're filling that vacuum. And sure, I came along in one of the earlier waves of new media, and I'm now long in the tooth at this and more professional, but... It, it, people didn't tune in because I was professional. They tuned in because it was real, and they kept seeing what I talked about come true. Yeah. 
Yeah, they're going to shut that down, though. They've, they've got Apple had patents for that back in 2008 to be able to selectively shut down a phone or all the phones in a particular area. And now all droids yeah. will have it where the police hit one button and everything turns off. That's right. Remote control access. That's right. Beyond the NSA. Yeah. So, but you'll still be able to do it if you get a purpose built small phone, if they still, you know, camera, if they still sell those, or GoPro or something like that. But, you know, you can... but again, it's designed to shut down human communication. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It shows, the, and they're just doing it. Listen, last week it was in the news. Obama met with the chiefs of police, and it was, you know, closed doors, and then several articles about it, and it reportedly said, don't tell the public what we've got, and then we're listening to everything. Mm -hmm. The average cop doesn't know that. It's higher up. I mean, this is, this is the end of everything, especially because crooks are running it all. That's right. But it also is a policy that starts at the very top, just like we saw Hillary Clinton. She's saying that people who have viewpoints are terrorizing other people when it comes to the Second Amendment. So your opinion, your First Amendment rights are now terrorizing people. And that's just one step away from what Harry Reid said when he called, started calling people terrorists. And we ought to take that seriously because these are the people who are coming up with these draconian measures, suspending the rule of law. In Absolutely. Right Look, they haven't dropped the hammer yet, but they're putting the framework in. They're using the rhetoric. They're about to do it. They're about to really go into high gear, but they've already been implementing things that are just unheard of. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can see they're committed. And the way Hillary looked at you with pure hate. Now, there's a still shot of it up on Infowars.com. People got to go see the image in the article titled Hillary Clinton Attacks Drudge and Second Amendment in Texas Visit. I mean, she gave you a go to Hades look. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, the thing is, is, she's saying that you can't intimidate people. And yet. Does she think that it's intimidating people to call them terrorists? I mean, that's essentially what she's doing. She's trying to shut that down. Our rights don't rest on whether or not the majority of people like them. They don't have the authority. The majority of people do not have the authority to take away our rights. Neither do the courts or the legislature. That's right. In a republic, if 51% say make black people slaves again, no, you can't because it's against the Bill of Rights. That's right. So legally, they would have to change the Constitution. They don't want to do that. They don't want to go through the process that the Constitution says you have to go through to change the Constitution. And they want to enact, even if they were to do that, it would still be... Well, notice, they're doing all this just by fiat criminal operation. There's not even documents that they're, uh, you know, giving them vouchers until we dug them up. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we're talking to the emergency manager and he goes, I don't know the authority. It's just we're here, and now the Border Patrol ships illegals in, gives them food, and pays to ship them to be dropped off on street corners, wherever they ask. Well, the former Border Patrol Union said that this is a deliberate policy. It's orchestrated for political purposes. We know Of course it is. It's a cloud and pivot thing, as you've said all along, and it's also a way for Obama to speed up and accelerate his youth corps. They already had the FEMA Youth Corps. If the government raises these kids and treats them like royalty, as we see them doing, already they're treating them better than they do them. And by the way, that's the target age, 14. That's right. They grab these kids. They, they treat them great. Now these kids have this unswerving, undying loyalty to the government. And they're not even Americans. That's right. This is the classic perfect. takeover. Perfect. Yeah, it's a perfect way. I mean, this is a rerun of like hundreds of other tyrannies I've studied, all mixed together. And you find out, oh, they hired the former head of the Stasi, Marcus Wolf, paid him a million one for two years before he died in 2003 to help set up the current Homeland Security. And again, that was bipartisan. Well, it's it was William Benny, who was one of the first uh, NSA whistleblowers, the highest ranking whistleblower. He was technical head with global responsibilities. And he said on this program, they're essentially doing the same thing in this country that he saw happening in East Germany and Russia. When he was working there, he was monitoring these foreign countries. Now he says they're taking all that and bringing it in. And that was... Oh, yeah. Listen, was, I told you. Yeah. My dad said, hey, I think Homeland Security is trying to set us up. They came in and said they want me to spy on all my patients before he retired last year. And I said, no, Dad, they're doing it with most physicians. I said, go, go, go check with other doctors. And he went, wow, almost all of the senior ones have been visited either at their offices or at home, in some cases by FBI, uh, you name it, or sometimes by auxiliary groups of basically the Democratic Party. So, see, they're merging it. Once they get these auxiliary agents uh, that are party officials, it, it's outside of the FBI, outside the police. That's what the youth corps is. Mm -hmm. We need a domestic security force just as big, just as strong as our military. Close quote, Obama 2008 during the campaign. They're just doing it by fiat. Right. They're just moving ahead. It's unbelievable. How do you think they're going to try to get away with it? I want to play these clips of uh, Hillary uh, you know, basically saying free speech is now terrorism. 
Well, they're just coming out with it to a greater extent and not backing off when it's discovered. Look at the IRS scandal, for example. You know, Nixon was accused of doing that. It led, it was one of the key articles of his impeachment, others being the fact that he refused to give information to the Congress when it was investigating him. And yet they do it now to a far greater extent. And then when somebody calls them on it, they just push back and say, you know, do something about it. We're, we're not gonna. We're not gonna comply. We're not going to uh, be ashamed of the fact that we broke the law. When they get caught, they don't care. So it's just like when you see police brutalizing people. They're being encouraged to do that by the federal government. Nothing ever. The happens. message is sent. Keep exactly. doing that. Exactly. And just in case you think we're making this up, here is Hillary on CNN following the script. It's not just her saying it, that speech is terrorizing people, that, that we're defending the right to have guns. Why, that's just causing an epidemic of shootings when they're down 52% in their own numbers. Right. I mean, they know, Justice Department knows, since 92, shootings are down 52%. They know that. They know mass shootings are flat, but they put the lie out. Here is Hillary on the Communist News Network. I'm well aware that this is a hot political subject. And again, I will speak out no matter what role I find myself in. But I believe that we need a more thoughtful conversation. We cannot let a minority of people, and it's, that's what it is. Really, it Second is Amendment's a minority majority. Of people, right. uh, hold a viewpoint that terrorizes the majority They can't of let us hold a viewpoint. That's right. Remember, the, the uh, governor of New York said, if you're pro-gun or pro-life, get out of the state. And he was like, no, I'm serious, get out. Well, that sounds real liberal. Do what we say. We, you know, we can't allow you to have a view. What the, the? The Bill of Rights was set up to protect the smallest minority. That is the individual. It was set there to give, make sure that we have the right. Because there's always special interests that overpower the individual. So this was set up for individuals. Exactly. And, and these are rights that we already had. They're just recognized and said to the government, you will not. But plus, she's lying. Congress yeah. has a 7% approval rating in the latest Gallup poll. <laughs> That's true. They have no legitimacy. That's right. Except for a handful of the political class. That's right. So, you know, it, it's, it's just amazing that they would do this. But people need to understand, people on the left need to understand that the same people that are going to deny rights in one area are going to deny them everywhere. They're going to say you oh, don't no. have any yeah, yeah, Fifth yeah. Amendment rights, you don't have any Fifth Amendment rights, you don't have any First Amendment rights. And that's what Well, look at how the Republican and Democratic leadership are in lockstep when it comes to NSA, police state, yes. the billions of bullets, yes. training for war. But again, why have I totally endorsed the real Tea Party now? The Republicans couldn't take it over. The, the leadership's trying to kill it. The Democrats are coming after it. All the big trade federations are coming after it, trying to strangle it, because it is the only venue of revolution in this country right now. We have to put the full energy behind it now. Second hour, tons of key intel. Obama saying he wants a gun ban and more coming up. Second hour, tell friends and family to tune in. Man, when I get home from work, all Betty does is watch her reality TV and then she goes to sleep. I can take her on romantic dates, I get her flowers, you name it. She's just not the woman I married. Oh, Ralph, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? Are the honeymoon days of your relationship long gone? If so, consider this. The abundance of chemical additives, pesticides, BPA containers, contaminated tap water, and other toxic substances found in our environment. Experts know our bodies are suffering and being thrown off balance, especially when it comes to your natural systems. Forget synthetic chemicals. Super Female Vitality brings forward key herbs specifically chosen for women's biology without the use of phony additives. Get your bottle of Super Female Vitality today at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or call 1-888-253-3139. InfoWarsLife.com. Live life healthy. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else 
has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off Super Detox Special at InfoWarsLife.com.